Hey, bag family. Uh, welcome back to Black Acres of the Gambia. Right now, we got a few projects going on, and we want to show you the progress that we've made on these three projects. The first one being the deep well. We're going to go over there and look at the progress on that, followed up by the pillars. Going to follow up that with the security house. Now, you know today is a Sunday and everybody's not out here, but we're going to show you what's happened as of today. Stick around to the end of this video. guys are coming out here to do work and they need some type of brace or something like that they head for the nearest tree and chop it down this is a name do they realize how valuable and expensive this is in the world this is the most potent natural pesticide on the planet and, he, and my man just chopped it down I didn't find out about that until just now I mean luckily I still got a lot more of it left but I need my name I need my name. <laughs> name. So anyway, I gotta learn Van Dinkle and Warlock quick. All right. Side track right here. As I told you from last rainy season, uh, we went over there in Cursor Ring. There's a hotel over there where they got a lot of bamboo uh, sticks growing, and so we pulled out one. Well, actually, we pulled out about 20 of them and a lot of them have died, but this is one that we're hoping that's gonna come back. And this is gold in the future, they're saying, bamboo. And so we got one right here and we'll get some more from this upcoming rainy season. Here's another one. You see this part died, but it still got some green at the base. So hopefully we can revive those. And you already know about the name. How I feel about my name, guys, so I don't even have to take that again. This is what we discovered here too. We've already got bamboo growing on the land. Never knew it and stuff. So right here, this rainy season, we want to try to transplant some of these out of here into another area that will facilitate a better growth and stuff. Because right now, um, they're not getting enough water and they're peeling over and dying as you can see this one right here that fell off. Right to the left of that knee. Uh -huh. So. This, again, this was a little side this track. Right there. But bamboo is the black gold, excuse me, is the green gold of the future. Bamboo. Mm -hmm. Bamboo, guys. All right, it's good go in food. Know. Hasu, they put in food, yep. A bamboo shoe. So let's go over here and check out this whale, man. Okay, guys. This is my man's area over here, the deep whale. And we want to check out his progress and what he's doing. He's making these little rings right here that's about one meter which is right there uh -huh, about one meter so he's got three so one two that's three meters and then this over here five meters so that's about 15 feet and he's going to put them in the center down here and stuff and then he's going to go down deeper as you can see he's already striking water down there and stuff yeah. and so he's going to put these little smaller circles inside the bigger circles and stuff. And that'll be our deep well over here and stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So my man is making tremendous progress over here and stuff. He works over here by himself, he quiet, he keeps his area clean, and he's funny. Yeah. Super hilarious guy, you know, even though there's a language barrier. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what's going on with the uh, deep well guy. That is deep, okay? huh? Yep, deep well. Hello down there. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> all right and you <laughs> all, right. all right so we go over here and look at the next one then okay bye guys bye. Okay, bye -bye. we got some more name too i it's, was wondering it's still on, okay hmm? oh some more name let's see we put the compound right there i was thinking we could put 
I'm wondering, babe, now this is security right here now. Knowing how the Urugu mm -hmm. feel about us doing something Marcus Garvey-ish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they always, you always got to be cognizant or aware of infiltrators and coons, downright coons. Right. Um, so when people are saying, hey, you know, we want to come and visit you. Now, this is supposed to be our compound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got the children out here. And I was thinking maybe something real right here. But you kind of, you have to think security now. What if they're sending somebody to infiltrate, you know what I'm saying, us and find out what's going on or you right. don't like our hairstyles and we try to cut make our it hair easy. off. So it makes you say, hmm. Can't make it easy for them. You know what I'm saying? Can't make it easy for them. So I'm, I'm contemplating where we put the rental houses at that keeps us safe. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So evidently it can't be around our residential areas. So it has to be on the outskirts. Mm -hmm. Like you say, don't make it easy for them. Exactly. Stuff. All right, just a thought, guys. If y'all got any suggestions on that, how to detect coon, bed winches, and things of that sort, or anybody that's not into the Black Power movement, guys, drop us a comment, because uh, everybody's wanting to come, and I know in that group, somebody works directly for Massa. <laughs> All right. Then we go over there and look at this, sweet mama, then wrap it and call it a day, because I think he's almost finished back there with you. Yes, doing? he is. All right. Okay. Until then, we'll be back at you. We update you guys uh, on the last um, um, development out here. I have to use the bathroom. So thank God I've been in the military and I know how to uh -huh. dig a cat pit. So I'll be back in a flash and stuff. Put a tissue heads in. I don't have any. Okay, I guess I got to use my hand then. Good, gross. Right, Hope I wasn't gone too long. I didn't know I'd been out the military for a long time. It used to be with ease, but now... Nobody like, want to know that. Seem like I smear stuff. Stop. Anyway, don't nobody come out here to bag and go over there in that area for 15, 25 minutes. All right? Now that you guys... Are, hey, where are we going to get a bathroom built out here? Aren't they building the one over there? Yeah, but I mean, man, maybe we need to offer them an incentive to get it built quicker. Anyway, let's go and check out what they did. Okay. okay. All right, family, this is the latest development on our... Uh, borehole project or the pillar man as we refer to him uh, we went through three different uh, modifications on this project here and stuff okay first we started off with just four pillars and then uh, the word came to us that somebody recommended to him these four pillars are not uh, uh, strong enough to sustain the weight from two five thousand liter tanks so what he did was he modified the plan. He's kicking out two more pillars. So 5,000 liters would sit in between the first four and then the last two would be another 5,000 liter tank. And right here, oh, he's poured inside there some concrete for the base. Mm -hmm. And right here you can see the failed borehole from the previous guy who built the borehole for us. And this right here would be an entry door right here. Where I'm standing right now will be an entry door. So you will be able to open the door right here and walk inside here and either operate a, a pump that'll shoot water to the garden or to the orchard. And um, this will also be solar powered. The uh, water pump will be solar powered, but we might have booster pumps in here to kick the water out to the gardens, like I said, and to the orchards and stuff. We're going to um, pump some water out here and stuff, either through a irrigation system or we just run enough holes to water until we can figure out something better and stuff. But uh, we're going to get them plants some water, okay? Mm -hmm. And so this is our project right here. Uh, so let us know what you think, guys. We showed you three different projects on this video here. So... Hopefully this is showing some type of development going on out here other than us just jabber jawing, okay? All right, and we'll update you on a regular basis as we already are doing this stuff. All right, ciao, ciao. You got any hand sanitizer? I'm not going to answer you. What? Now, guys, maybe y'all can answer this for me, but 
it seems like these guys have moved these blocks multiple times. <laughs> you know, I would think now, me and my common sense approach, let's move the blocks as less as possible. One time, preferably. We build them, and then the next time we move them, we going straight into the construction. So what the guys did, now, maybe y'all can answer this, because you know we are layman's or inexperienced people when it comes to building a, a compound from the ground up. Now, when the guys first built the blocks, they put them over here, and you know we watered them so they can carry and all that good stuff. Then once they finished with that, they stacked them <laughs> on top of here. They in that bucket. Okay, you took a picture of the bucket. <laughs> hey guys, everything's okay. I didn't know they was in there. You need soap? Soap? You need soap? Yep. Small. Small. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway. Okay. I didn't know they was in there. Only in Africa. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so they built the blocks and then once they built the blocks, they put them on top of each other like this right here, all around the outer perimeter. Mm -hmm. And then they came in here and dug the foundation. It's wet too. So. And you can see they've laid the concrete down pretty much uh, 80 to 95% of the foundation that they've dug around. So they moved the blocks from here to here. So I'm, again, I'm curious, why do they keep moving the blocks from place to place instead of just moving them one time? If you experienced people know, please drop a comment in the comment section and let me know why they keep moving these blocks and stuff. Cause right now, it seems like this is the third, possibly fourth time they keep moving these blocks. I think they want it closer to when it's time for them to put them in there. What? What's wrong with outside? Uh, I don't know. Or once you carry them, just take them from there and put them right here. But they, they're moving them. See, see one, the, the 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 blocks is one then they stacked them on top of each other's two and then this right here is the third time <laughs> and i believe they're going to move them again but anyway let's walk around this now what is standing on this right here is uh uh my three sons bedroom this right here probably be uh harman we're gonna put james in the middle because y'all know james is is james so we put james this right here is james room he's the oldest yeah and then this right here is Doug room. <laughs> Just Doug. Just Doug. Now, what this is right here, I don't have a clue. But I know we had three rooms. Maybe this right here kitchen is the, or something. The, the kitchen. Know. Okay, the kitchen. I don't know. Oh, we go to the kitchen. Then <laughs> he was saying chicken in the video. When he said chicken room. Okay. okay anyway. Uh, I think this right here is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. This right here is the TV room. Oh, what is this here? Huh? Yeah. Eating place? Yeah. This here is the what? Kitchen. <laughs> this is the dining room. This is the kitchen. Yeah. And this is the bathroom. Oh, answer to the power there? Yeah. Okay, answer to the power there. <laughs> He's busy. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Where's the outside bathroom? Outside bathroom. That's okay. That's Let him. No problem. Do what you got to do. What is this right here? The bore hole, the septic tank. What is this here? Yeah, we have a medicine. Huh? Oh, the circle thing? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. When they mix and okay. stuff. And this right here is the entrance, guys, coming onto the property. And so, uh, yeah, oh, but he said this is the veranda. It didn't come out. Oh, uh, the porch. And, porch. and do Bob Molly and all this stuff right here on the porch. <laughs> and so anyway, this Gun right here is the is it, is it kanja or ganja? Whatever, sweet mama. <laughs> I don't want to condone that stuff and stuff. But anyway, <laughs> this right here, guys, is uh, the development right here and stuff. And the guys are professional. They're quick. And uh, we like them, so... We're just waiting on a bid from this guy and others to give us a bid on actually building the uh, House. compound back that way right there. And I think we so far into rainy season, I don't think we're going to be able to move out here. So we just at least can get the groundwork done. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they can work through rainy season. But uh, this is it, guys. So um, you can see the progress for those of you that are saying, hey, show me something that y'all are building. <laughs> well, I'm trying to show it to you on a daily basis, and then we'll summarize it at the end of the week like we're doing right now and stuff, guys. So, Until if you like the video, guys, you know how we end it. Give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, 
in the comments section share the video with a friend and subscribe 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 and again thank you guys everybody for the donations and um we don't want to put anybody on the spot that are saying they're donating all this money we want to keep their names uh confidential right sweet mama yes uh we want to you know uh do what's beneficial to everybody that's involved and stuff so we're going to keep that confidential but thank you guys for the donation especially our big subscribers all right you know how we end our videos with love peace soul, soul.